Hi everyone. So, talking about APIs, we are all involved in APIs by either developing APIs or testing APIs or using the APIs. But the question is, what is an API? You can think an API as a user interface. The simple example of user interface is this. This user interface is for humans, wherein we have eyes to see and brain to think. So when we see an icon, for example, the gallery icon is somewhat made in a flower shape. So when we see the flower picture, we know that it could be the gallery icon. And so what we do is we know when we click the gallery icon, we are going to see our videos or the photos. But these are for humans. Now the APIs are also made as a user interface, but not for humans, but for the machines. Machines do not have eyes to see, neither they have brain to think. So their use of interface is little technical in the language that they can understand. So these APIs are meant only for machines, not for humans. Now, um, the APIs, you can use the APIs in your application. Like suppose you are building up an application and that application consumes certain addresses and you would like the user to see the map of those addresses, the Google map. So in order to do that, there are two ways. Either you code the Google map code in your application. So you have to bring the entire code into your application and handle it. Or the easiest way is to use the Google APIs. The Google map has extensive APIs and you can just use one line of code and call their APIs and they will show the address as a pinpoint in your application. So using APIs, it's really easy to do that. These days, every software company is building up their APIs. If they have a software product, they are making APIs not only for talking with each other, but also talking to the entire world. Like they want their software to be used by a third party. These APIs helps them to be, to be used. For example, an organization has a sales department and a billing department and the sales the billing department wants to know some information from the sales department now the billing department has two ways here they can either query the database of the sales department and get the information or the other way is if the sales department has an api then they can call the api and get the get the information they want to now this, this way, this, since this sales department and billing department are part of the same organization, there might not be requirement of any authentication. They might use just the basic authentication and use the API to talk to each other. But now, see if the sales department has the API, then some other company from a third party organization can call this API as well and get the in, uh, information they want to. Now here, they do not have to query the database. The third party company cannot access the database of the sales department. So they cannot query it. But the sales department since has an API can talk to the third party now. Now the third party, when the third party calls the API of the sales department of this organization, since they, be part, um, they are part of different organization, there comes the need of authorization. Wherein in APIs there are different kinds of authorization like basics or username password or OAuth. We'll talk about this in later videos. So if you are involved in APIs and if you're involved in testing the APIs, then, then you can automate your test case by using Rest Assured. Rest Assured is a Java-based library. Rest Assured acts like a client which can call an API and consume the API response. In my later videos, I will have a detailed session on how to automate your test cases for APIs using REST Assured, where we'll cover from the basics to the advanced level. So see what I have. So in my upcoming session, we'll have videos on REST API automation testing using REST Assured, where first we'll start from the basics of request and response architecture where we'll see client server architecture, HTTP request and HTTP response. And then 
we'll have a video on RESTful Web Services basics where we'll understand the REST API and the elements or terminologies associated with REST APIs. Then we'll have a video on how to test APIs manually using Postman. Then we'll have a REST API uh, using REST assured videos on all this topic where we'll configure IntelliJ with REST API, REST assured and we'll start writing code for REST API testing and we'll validate the response uh, we'll validate the response header and the body we'll write the code for all kinds of apis of get post put delete with body and without body and we'll also have code to perform the authentication and authorization for apis then at last we'll have a bonus wherein i'll show you my framework of api which i developed in my company and it's very handy to use and I've used the framework to automate my test cases for all kinds of REST APIs. Thank you everyone and let me know if you have any other topic to talk about on this. Please comment in my comment section. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.